Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Medieval for the PlayStation 4. Last time we traveled to the Gallows Gauntlet, it was a pretty short level, but at the same time it was a rather punishing one. But luckily we, we lucked out because the Serpent of Gallimere just did not want to hang out as long as what I thought it would do normally. But anyway, we are headed to the Haunted Ruins of King Peregrine's Castle. This is one of my favorite levels in the entire game, and this is the level before the dreaded ghost ship level, which you can probably see on the, ma on the map just ahead. But uh, before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. So without further ado, let's travel to the Haunted Ruins. Some say King Peregrine's castle has seen better days, but the Shadow Demons beg to differ. It's a lot more peaceful without all those pesky humans around. Since the farmers have been captured by the shadow demons, the animals here have gone hungry. Now she sounds so happy about it. Okay, I kind of want you... I kind of want you chickens over there. I need you to eat that... All that food over there. That releases a, a pressure switch that allows the drawbridge to come down. There we go. Thank you, chickens. Now we have to go up here. First order of business is go on the left hand side, but let me read this book first. The farmers are being held in the courtyard. At the first sign of trouble, the shadow demons will sacrifice the captives to the flames. Move quickly, slay the demons on guard, and release the farmers. Now, you don't necessarily have to save these farmers, though it is nice because you do get a reward afterwards, but I'm going to try my best on here. But anyway, we're going to get the Chaos Rune straight off the bat. Okay. Take a deep breath. Oops. See, I pushed the wrong button there, but... And because we weren't able to see the, save the farmers, you could probably see our chalice count go down. Which I completely forgot about, but... Yeah, we were unable to save the farmers, unfortunately, this time. That's because I kept on pushing the wrong button. And if you go along this way... Here's the chalice. Yeah, normally whenever you save the farmers, you get a nice bit of treasure to go along with it. But like I said, it's not... I mean, you do lose some of your souls, which once again, I'm not freaking pushing the right button. 
There we go. Shouldn't hurt me too much in a grand scheme of things because... Um... Boy, these guys are relentless. But yeah, we should have more than enough souls down here to get in... Get the chalice anyway. And the sad thing is, I would have been able to save the farmers had I not kept on pushing along. But I kept on pushing jump instead of attack. You think for as, many t as long as I've been playing this, you'd think I would know the button configuration by now. Sir Daniel Fortescue, it's been a long time. Welcome back to your home. But it is sad that you should see it so. The jewel in Galomir's crown has become a corrupt haven for Zarak's army of shadow demons. I forgot to talk to the gargoyle at the beginning of the level. Let me do that here real quick before I continue on. Still sucks. I'm still kind of a little bit bothered I wasn't able to save the farmers. Should be a gargoyle here at the very beginning. Maybe not, I don't know. For some reason I thought there was. Nope. I was mistaken. Okay, we can't go in there just yet. For some reason, I thought there was a gargoyle at the beginning, or else I wouldn't even bother. Okay, there's a merchant gargoyle right there. Now, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to go in my inventory, and I'm going to set my dragon armor as my secondary weapon. But anyway, we're gonna get the Chaos Rune. Just go through there. And then we're gonna set the secondary weapon to axe again. Long ago, this was once the majestic throne room of King Peregrine. Now foul demons stalk the corridors. Ah, the spirit of the king must be saddened indeed. Sometimes the ghost of King Peregrine can be seen wandering these halls or sitting mournfully upon his throne. Find his crown, and perhaps you can summon him. Now we do have to go down here. Should be two more flying shadow demons that we have to slay. Should be one more.
There we go. The castle was constructed on top of a dormant volcano. This great floodgate is all that stands between you and a very hot shower. Going this way takes you right out here. Now this time, since we have King Peregrine's crown, we can go ahead and summon him. Sir Fortescue, noblest of my courtiers, bravest of my captain. Oh, that we should meet at such a dark hour, with the fate of this realm lying once again in your hands. Good God, Fortescue, what's happened to your jaw? <laughs> Bad luck, old man. Now look, Zarok's army of shabby demons hide beneath us within this very mountain. They prepare, as we speak, to invade fair Galonia. If we are to thwart his plans, we must bring down the castle on top. We must unleash the lava behind the floodgates. I can take you to the gate's control lever, but you alone can pull it. Of course, it's a highly dangerous mission, even for a dead man. I dare say that when that fiend sees what you've done, he'll make sure you spend eternity in the most unspeakable torment. But then, I know these things mean nothing to a man of your iron will. Eh, hey, Fortescue? <laughs> Splendid. Good luck, old friend. <laughs> okay, first thing we gotta do is grab the Earth Moon. Now we're gonna pull the lever. The lava has been released, said Anne, and the castle is collapsing. You will not have let me see if this is. Let me see if it is. the ensuing inferno. Okay, yeah, this method isn't working. Let's, I'm gonna have to do it this way. Let me see if we can find any more 
I still got a little bit of time left. Oh, I can't go up there. Oops. Well, it looks like I won't be able to get the chalice after all. Oops. Looks like I did need to save those farmers. Hot scalding oil. Burn your skeletal toes at will. Better find a way to close the oil vents before crossing. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get the chalice. Hurry! The castle is about to be destroyed! The gates are locked. Find an alternative means of travel. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and get the chalice here because I didn't realize you do need to save those farmers. Oops. Yeah, I'll have to go back another time, which the next level, the ghost ship, I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to get the, the chalice on that one. Yeah, I'll just have to go back on my own time and get... Oops. But anyway, it's the level that I've been dreading the most <laughs> throughout this entire playthrough. And that is the ghost ship, which like I just said, I'm not even going to worry about getting the chalice here either. Especially since I missed the chalice in Haunted Ruins. But um, but yeah, next time I see you guys, we are going to get this level over, over with. Hopefully I won't get a game over here. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.